Your local election headquarters continues our coverage of tonight's primary results. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi and Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming join us now live in studio. Any surprises tonight, guys? Well, Mike, not really. In the no. end, the two frontrunners uh, were very strong. Gina Raimondo and Alan Fung both winning double-digit victories for governor and moving on. We have a rematch of what we saw in 2014 for governor. I will say the lieutenant governor's race ended up being closer than some people expected. Dan McKee eking out a win, but Aaron Reagan made it very tough for him. What else, Joe? I think a slight surprise was the turnout. The mm. turnout was a little bit bigger than we expected. Maybe like 15, 20,000 more people came out to vote. But again, a lot of Democrats are motivated. The Republican turnout was about the same as it was four years ago. Democrat was slightly lower, but not by that much. So, I mean, the voters did come out. And for the two, looking ahead for the two front runners, they both have a head of steam now, coming out with strong support right. in their parties, majority support. And now I, you already heard the general election kick off tonight. Right. I think one important thing is the size of Gina Raimondo's victory might give some national Republicans some concerns about coming to the state of Rhode Island. I think if that race was a lot closer, they would really be in there supporting Allen Fung with a lot of money. But I think they're going to question things at the beginning to see how well Allen does in the next couple weeks. Yeah, it's going to be important, and that's why we will be pulling those races and getting information for voters quickly to see where things stand and take a look ahead at the uh, general election. For now, let's turn it back to you guys.